the reason why I gotta change oil because I looked at the oil and um, it was sort of like less stick. It was like sort of like black. It's getting black and um, plus I smelled it and it smells like gas. So I need to change that before it burns up my or something like that or blow the rings or something. So I need to change. So yeah, stay tuned for oil video, oil changing video. See y'all soon. Peace. Hey guys, Scar1640 here. Another video. Uh, today, I got changed to oil. So, let's begin. First, you gotta tip the tractor a little bit this way, like so. And my gas is leaking. Tip the tractor over just a little bit. So when you drain the plug, the oil will leak fine. Why not? Necessary tools to do this, so be back. Well, boys, this will be the oil I'm using today. This is Shell 10W30 synthetic. That's the oil I'm going to be using, so let's open it up. I got done changing it, so having dumped the old oil, I'm just showing y'all. So, got a bucket over there to catch all the nasty oil. It's probably mixed with gas, so be right back with the tools necessary to change it. Boys, I'm back. I unadjust it a little bit. Hold on a minute. It's unadjusted. It. I get the damn thing. This stuff could be nasty. Yeah. Smells like pure gasoline. It literally smells like gas, so. That's totally not good. If your gas, if your oil smells like gas, you get it out. Because you can end up burning up your engine. I don't see no um, metal chunks or anything. Uh, it's kind of silvery. I think that's a little bit of metal. But after all, I think this thing's been a pretty good off roader. You kind of want to tip your tractor over just to um, get it where it will all leak out. Like I'm going to turn on the motor just a little bit. There's steam coming out of the engine because it's compression and it's kind of hot so. I'm just gonna, uh, gonna kind, of, kind of let it sit for just a little bit. It smells like freaking uh, gas, so that's not very good. So I'll put the oil cap over here. Go get a go get a towel. Uh oh, boys! When your oil smells like gas, that's not a good sign. It's it's uh, telling you that this this little float on my carburetor is getting stuck and allowing the fuel to go back up in my engine 
and going in, seeping down to the piston rings and getting in my motor. That's what's probably happening. Cause it, cause it's, it smells like freaking gas. Let it see for just a little bit. Well, guys, I'll get to y'all when I'm adding oil, so see y'all soon. Go in there, see if it runs. Okay, guys, hop on up. This out of the way. All right, guys. Let's see if it runs or explodes. She didn't explode. So, I guess, I guess this oil change was a success. So, I'm gonna be doing more romps out here because it's kind of muddy and uh, it sort of rained on me when I was trying to get the right oil level. And uh, it took about two quarts, not really two quarts, but two one was gone then half of a quart left which i had luckily so what you guys think like the video if you enjoyed it hope y'all enjoyed my old change video uh, bye guys talk to you guys later when i go on a romp hopefully let, let's see if we could let's, let's see if we could break something so all right see you on the video let me uh show you see how much oil it has in it let's see how much oil she has okay oil's not too warm it's actually kind of cold still I should have ran it for a little bit longer screw it back on take it out slowly it's on the threads. We're perfect. As you can see, she's on the threads. Focus, you damn thing. Oh well, y'all see it later on. When I go romping, I'll show you how much oil it has. So, bye guys. Talk to you guys later. This video was a success. Let me know what y'all think. And I'm gonna do a top speed run. See how fast this thing goes. So. Bye guys, talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy my old change video.
oil change success. <laughs>